a squared minus a minus 1 all squared equals a plus 4. In this example, we are asked to solve for a. The first thing we need to do is remove the brackets. At this point, we're going to take special notice of this minus sign. If we think back to earlier examples, you know that this actually means minus 1 is multiplying at this point. Before we multiply through by minus 1, we're going to work out our a minus 1 all squared. So to keep things simple and clear in our minds, we're going to introduce some square brackets, which will allow us to work out this part inside first. So writing down what we have already, we have a squared, we have our minus, and then we open our squared brackets. Inside our square brackets, we have a minus 1 all squared. Anything squared means you're going to multiply it by itself. So that's a minus 1 times a minus 1. And we'll close our square brackets. That equals a plus 4. So what we have here again at the start is a squared. We have our minus sign and we'll open our squared brackets. Now we have a minus 1 bracket a minus 1. So this bracket is multiplying this bracket. Taking the first thing is a. So the first thing in bracket 1 a has to multiply bracket 2. And then the second thing in bracket 1, which is minus 1, also has to multiply bracket 2. And that is still equal to a plus 4. The purpose of the square brackets is to allow us to keep it simple and solve this complicated part in here first. So we have a squared and our minus sign outside our squared bracket. We have a times a which is a squared. a times minus 1 which is minus a. Then we have minus 1 times a which is minus a. And minus 1 times minus 1 which is a positive answer and it's 1. Then we'll close our squared bracket. That is equal to a plus 4. Back to the start, we still have our a squared. Now we have our minus sign sitting outside our squared brackets. So that means minus 1 times everything inside. Now before we do that, what we're going to do is simplify. We have some like terms. We have a squared still. Then we have minus a minus a, which is minus 2a. We still have our plus 1 on the end and that is still equal to a plus 4. Putting down our a squared at the start once more. Now we can start to multiply out the big squared bracket. So the minus sign sitting outside means minus 1 times everything inside. So minus 1 times a squared is minus a squared. Minus 1 times minus 2a is plus 2a. And minus 1 times plus 1 is minus 1. And that's still equal to a plus 4. We have a squared 
minus a squared. That gives us nothing, so these cancel out. That leaves us with 2a minus 1 equals a plus 4. Our next step is to put our letters on the left and our numbers on the right. So looking along the line, minus 1 needs to move and a needs to move. Putting down the things that are staying where they are, we have 2a on this side and 4 on the right hand side. Minus 1, change side, change sign becomes plus 1. A, which means positive A, comes over and becomes negative A. So we have 2A minus A, which is A, and 4 plus 1, which is 5. So we have solved for A, A equals 5, and that's our final answer.